Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Derek Sims here, back with another video today. Susu, how are you? I hope everybody's doing great. This video, as you can tell by the title, is a dollhouse collab. This is with AI Sims Productions from Twitter, and I am very excited about it. Granted, I've never really known how to do a dollhouse on Sims, but I'm very curious how this is gonna turn out. I think it's gonna turn out very cute and very fun. Now granted, we have to have an adult Sim on a lot to play. So our Sim will be, you know, a young adult with the characteristics of a child. So we're gonna make this house seem grown up, but also fit for a child. Granted, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but We'll get it working eventually. Right now I want to let in as much sunlight as I can because the purpose of a dollhouse is to be able to view inside it. Like when you're a child, you get to look inside every room of the dollhouse and play with it. So that's why I have all those windows facing the inside on both first and second floor. And the reason it's so tiny is because we also agreed on for this collab that it would be a tiny home. So this home is, if I remember correctly, six by six or six by seven. And then the second floor will be four by six. Yes, it is six by six. Ain't that fun? We love a good tiny home. So with that, Creating the rooms will be a bit challenging. As you can tell, there might be times where I pause. That's because when I was recording this, I was still at work and eating lunch at 2.30 in the morning. So I kind of had to pause myself and just focus on that. So I apologize if there's some pausing at times. Plus, I was also trying to figure out what I wanted to do for getting this set up. I wanted to go with some light, fun colors with the furniture. So like for the kitchen, as you can see, I'm kind of going towards the blue route. And I'm having a heck of a time trying to figure out how I want to decorate the kitchen. I feel like the cabinets might be a bit low, but I also want to add like shelves to on top of the cabinets. Maybe add some fake plants up there or something to give some decoration. But the one thing I'm not keen on is the fact that they won't connect like cabinets do. So maybe I just won't add shelving. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm trying to figure out what shelving works and doesn't work. I really wanted a shelf that would connect, but that's just not possible. So in the end, I may just go with the shelving on top of those base cabinets up top without it wrapping around the corner. We'll leave it alone for now. Right now, we need to focus on getting the rest of this doll house put together. Obviously, we need a place setting for one our main sim. If we decide to have a play date, we have an extra seat open, but that rarely is going to happen. So you never know. And again, with this being a dollhouse, we try to make it kid friendly for the adult sim because the adult sim has a childlike mind in my vision. So adding like a little cute his desk and arts and crafts table. I don't know. I'm just trying to think fun, imaginative, and inviting yet creative space for our Sims dollhouse. I'm not sure what I'm doing over there with those desks. They may not stay. We'll see. Definitely gotta have a living room. And you can't go wrong. A little sleepy. You can't go wrong without a little entertainment center. So, we have our cute little penguin TV. I thought about adding ghost lamps, like you see right there, but we need something that works. 
So we're adding those lovely little posts with lights. I think it's a good room divider. I think that's really pretty. I truly do. But we also gotta have lights throughout the house because, you know, they could be afraid of the dark. figure out how I want to do this. So I think for the second floor, we're going to make this strictly bedroom slash playroom, but mainly bedroom. Definitely get your dresser, got some shelving. I really love that little hexagon shelving over there. It's so pretty. I love it. I just, it brings life into the area. I just adore it so much. That rainbow shelf, I might get rid of. Not 100%. So right now, as you can see, we're trying to figure out how to decorate the shelves. I forgot that some of these figures were big animals. <laughs> so we can't put that on the shelf. Um, trying to replace a dollhouse because you can't have a dollhouse without a dollhouse. Does that make sense? And I like that dollhouse. It's very cute. But I don't want it in the window because I want the bed to be getting light in the window. I mean, obviously we're going to have curtains up there, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, so with this layout, we don't really have space for a bathroom. And the sad thing about that, as you can see, I'm trying to wall it off. I may just leave it at like that because... You know, I just don't know how I want to do the space. Obviously, it's a dollhouse, so there's not going to be closed rooms in this house. The only thing, quote unquote, closed is the stairwell, and that's because that's where our kitchen is. So our bathroom is literally going to be a standing shower with the stuff in the wall, and then you get the toilet next to it, literally in the open. So with that being said, we are putting together our lovely, ever so lovely, decorations of flooring and wall. I wanted to keep it, again, kid-friendly but neutral for an adult. So the choices I made for the walls and the flooring, I think, is a perfect fit. And surprisingly, that tile I used for the bathroom, I'm really surprised is a tile really surprised but I think it works out again because you can tell what is you know bathroom not bathroom if that makes any sense you know so right now we're just putting little finishing touches on it and I definitely want to take time before I finish the video to decorate the outside add some gardening we're getting really technical with the gardening <laughs> What's a dollhouse without garden? What's a dollhouse without flower? What is a dollhouse without imagination? As you can tell, we are adding a couple of matching trees, three to be exact, and centering, not entirely centering the dollhouse, but we're moving it to where it is snug on the lot. And with that, we get to go ahead and decorate under the trees around the house. Hmm. I apologize for sounding tired or any yawning. I did not get much sleep, but I promise after recording this video, I will be catching up on a little bit of sleep before I go back to work tonight. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, I work overnight. So... Literally, I'm recording some stuff at 2, 3 in the morning while I'm at work, and then recording audio at night. However, I only got like 5 or 6 hours of sleep today, and I plan to get another 1 or 2 hours before I go back to work today. That is the hope, at least. So with this, I thought about making a sidewalk path, as you can see right there, to that hill where the lot begins but i didn't want to wrap it around the whole property i might regret that when i'm done but you know what it is what it is 
So right now we're adding our lovely, lovely garden. I picked these pretty red bushes because it's all child's play. And it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. Because child at heart, but also, I don't want to say, vivid. And now, as you can tell with the flowers, I'm wanting to do something that kind of complements the trees. So for the border, we're doing strictly pink round bushes around the base of each of these trees. And I think it's a good complementary factor. It kind of just ties it together, you know? Like, it's hard to explain. I just want it to look natural. Now, with doing the flowers over here by the corner of the house with the bushes on, that's... It was challenging to figure out. But I think it worked out just fine. As we were finishing off the decorations, I think one thing I want to do is maybe put something on the roof or do something else with the exterior now that we're done with the gardening. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I know it needs a chimney of some sorts, but I know that it needs a touch of something. I just don't know what. That may not be the chimney, but it's close to a chimney, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And as you can see, I'm having like second guessing with the windows, but I decide all against it. Like maybe for an apartment loft video someday, if I ever decide to make an apartment loft. Just not today. Definitely not today. So as you can tell, we have our little steeple thing at the top. And now I'm just trying to figure out how to add these little things to the side. I think they look cute. I just don't like how they look inside. So we're going to pull them out. And I thought about adding that to the side, but I was asking my co-workers here what they thought. And they said, take out the top one. Because it looked like too much of a dollhouse. I'm like, that's the point of this challenge, is to make it look like a dollhouse. So... We'll just keep those two. And with that, we have completed our dollhouse. I hope you guys enjoy this. And I don't know why I'm adding another one, but we're just going to leave it. So here is my dollhouse. Thank you for watching and have a great day.